Hey guys, it's your boy Little Harky here. Um, I'm part of the uh, Disney Pixar Cars um, and Planes community on Google Plus, and here's actually my first video. So what I did was I I thought I had like a lot of McQueens, and I thought I would show all my McQueens here, um, all of my customs, my Cars One McQueens, my Cars Three McQueens, and my plastic McQueens. Let's start with the with the less interesting stuff. So here are the plastic McQueens. I won this in a giveaway originally. Um, from a guy named Family Toy Review. So, quick shout out if you want. He's a, he's just a Crazy 8 Crasher. With the little thing on the bottom. He's a plastic, um, I believe 155 scale. But I'm not sure because I'm not into the, the things that are not die cast. And then here um, is another plastic McQueen. Cars 3 McQueen. Let's see if I can focus. Let's see if it wants to. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, um, here's Cars 3 McQueen, oh my god, this, this, this is really bad quality. Here is Cars 3 McQueen, plastic. Alright, so now let's get to the old from new. So, here's Cars 1, all my McQueens. I know it's a little small collection, because I just started, um, collecting in June of 2017, so I don't really have that many, um, Cars 1 characters, but here's my Transformer McQueen. I have Bling Bling Queen, which I actually added some yellow on the on the side. I just put a highlighter and just highlighted the, ye the yellow on them. I don't know if you can see that good in the camera, but yeah, that's Bling Bling McQueen. I know I could have gotten just the, just a piston cup, but you know what? I already marked off like some of the of sides. That's why I, I just did show do it all yellow. Here is Radiator Springs McQueen. It's actually a little bit of an error since the since the, the print is not in white. It's in like a pinkish color. Um, let's see, here we go, yep, sponsors, contingency sponsors, um, down here, oh my god, the quality is so bad, sorry, it's like my first time recording, oh my god, okay, but yeah, here he is, there we go, see, and, and the side is kind of like broken off, because I, I bought this from like a, um, like a thrift shop, so, in the package with um, the two pack with Sally. Here is Cruisin' McQueen. Pretty nice car, honestly. Overall, I just love the white walls of this car and the fact that there's no spoiler um, makes it really, really nice that it's actually cruising and stuff. I really like the bolt. They changed it from the from the top to the bottom, so I really like that. Um, it actually has, um, you can see there, it has um, width like the eyelids, the eyelids pop out, which is pretty nice. And that's obviously her third track, McQueen. Now this is a matte tape finish, and I don't really like this one. It's probably my least favorite of all ones because it don't have, doesn't have any teeth. I don't know why Mattel didn't do that. Maybe I can get a better view if I get an aerial shot. See, there's no teeth, anything. Yeah, it has a little bit of a chip in there. Sorry, it's my first time recording, so I don't really know what to expect. There's a little chip in there, yeah, but overall, it's not that bad of a car. I would like that it had, like, white teeth. Here is Bug Moth McQueen, which I actually tried to, like, cover up the white using some type of... Um, I'm probably going to cover it up more because I, I need to put some white paint on it. I use, like, some different type of paint, but, yeah, it looks pretty bad on the camera. But uh, It's supposed to be white. Just trust me, I'll just paint it white. But this is basically supposed to be my Car Story McQueen because I couldn't find any Car Story McQueens. I mean, Cars 1 McQueens. Um, I decided to make my own using the Bug Mom McQueen that I found in the Toys R Us one day. So yeah, here's the contingency sponsors and everything. I think you've already seen the Cars 1 McQueen enough times already. And last but not least, um, Cactus McQueen. I really love this over Tumbleweed McQueen because it has like so many more patches of cactus and stuff. It's way better than the Tumbleweed because Tumbleweeds only have one thing. I, I would have liked it if they put like a little bit of dust everywhere like this. But it's just a tumbleweed, so not really that good. See, see, it doesn't have the rusties in the back. If you can see that right there. But yeah, those are all my cars. One McQueens. Here's cars three McQueens. I actually did have a regular rusties McQueen, like rusties racing center McQueen. The only problem is I used it for a custom, so now I need to get a replacement. Here are um my cars three McQueens. Here is the rusties regular McQueen cars three McQueen. I See that white white line right there, like black line. I can get it good in the camera. 
Oh my god, I just made it worse. <laughs> there, someone, yeah. See, like, a white line? It's better in, in person, but, like, there's a white line there. I'm being black line there. And that's way better than just a smile. Honestly. I did the same for my Rusties. It's way better. You can see this way clearer. I did the same for my Rusties McQueen. And, yeah. Did you know that the Rusties and Cars 3 McQueen are different models? Because this one's more thick and more wider than this one. Here, here is my Fabulous McQueen. Really like it. I got this in the variation pack with um, the Cars 3 McQueen and Fabulous McQueen. Which is actually, this is a variation since these the rims are way brighter than if you got in the single pack. Here is obviously chest whip filter. I do have the chest whip filter with the retires. One second, I'll just pull them up right here. See that? I'll just pull them up right here. I have, I have my little toolbox customs. There's also Bobby Swift, but this is just a hollow version. See? Oh wait, no. Let me take a look. Take off this. There's no wheels, so it's just hollow inside. Here's my Chester Wood filter with rubber tires, but with no tires. I may do a custom with this, but the problem is, I don't know if you guys know how to fix this problem where like the cars, like their wheels bend it and like they're out of place. How do you fix that? Because I need I need help with that. Like I don't want to buy another Chester Wood filter just to just to get the same result or something like that. I really like his brush, and that's the reason that I get him. Like I want to get him again. See, look, their expression is different. But yeah, back and in it goes. Oh yeah, high keyboard. Pretty dirty. Actually. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, this is the sand. This is the one from the Sandy Four Pack, the the Fireball Beach Four Pack, with the with the sandless tires and the sand in the bottom. Just looks more white than when anything, honestly. Then here's my Primer McQueen. Since I started collecting in June, I had to get all the townies, and what better way to get them from the from the ten pack, from uh. Uh, the the um, Cars 3 Townies Radio Sp Return to Radio Springs pack. Honestly, I don't like the expression because he should be like a little bit down the dumps, which is why I want to get the single as well. Because that, that one has like a little sad expression. But whatever. I think now the time has come to see the the my actual interesting point in the video. My customs. So here are all my customs. This is... Okay, let me explain them each individually. Here is the McQueen where if... When he was um, racing through... Um, the midnight jump, and he's supposed to be ripped up. You see, like a little bit of ripping effect right there. See, you see, you can see the regular old McQueen. Okay, this is like really bad quality. <laughs> see, this has like some of uh, the old, the old uh, Car City McQueen. See, and there you go. That's a better quality. See, right there, and then up here as well. It reminds me of the metallic finish of the Hudson Hornet, P P Hudson Hornet McQueen. I think that was called, but I don't know. Here is my McQueen that I'm kind of least proud of. It's the, it's the rust. It's the McQueen after he gets well, sprayed by Mr. Drippy and gets revealed in Thunder Hollow. This is how he looks like. Honestly, I don't really like it. I think I made it too muddy, and I used a gold paint instead of a brown paint. Wow, what is that? I did not notice that before. That is really weird. I, need, I think I need to get that checked out. I guess. Yeah, this is this is more of a gold paint, not not a brown paint. So that's why I don't, I'm not really proud of this one. I may repaint it using gold, but yeah. Though the proud part I am is of the of the back tire, since McQueen got his tires spliced by the by the saw blade. I really like that effect. See, you can tell the difference right there. And his windows are obviously muddy and everything. Even his back, it's a little bit muddy. Yeah, you can't tell. You can't tell. There we go. Here is my determined McQueen. There's some black paint right there since that's for the asphalt. It looks more like a burnt out McQueen, honestly. But I really like the asphalt. It looks way better in camera than in person. It looks way brighter and it doesn't look as visible. See? Here is McQueen, the other side. See? Looks way better than if you were in person. And then this is like a paper, this is like paper that I glued onto it. I can't make the faces. I need help from Fall Wheel Drive. <laughs> Follower Drive 7, just shout out to him. He's just really amazing customs, better than mine. And then here's my next gen McQueen. I'm not really proud of this one, but honestly, I think it's not that bad. It's like a really good depiction. I made his windows gold because by accident I poured um gold paint on here, so then I thought, hey, what about making his windows gold? And that's where the idea came from. Here is Rusty Sponsors. I actually made that. That that um 95, I actually made it in paint. He's got, oh my god, that quality is so bad. Hold up. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm recording on like a phone, so like. There you go. That's better. I have the Rusty's bolt, the Nor the Cars 3 McQueen Rusty's bolt. Not that good because my printer sucks. <laughs> There's like a little splotch on the 95 right there. 95. And I love the determined expression on this one. And the expression on this one overall. I really love it. Rusty's, that 95 I did it by myself in paint, obviously. And then here's his contingency sponsors. The same from if you want to check on your McQueen or on my McQueen. See, there's the continued sponsors. Here they are Piss and Cup, Oxygen Gain, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. Not, obviously, not in the same. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Ooh, ow, that hurts. Here is Piss and Cup, Oxygen Gain, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. And then here are my crashed customs. Here's McQueen. It looks way better in person, but. You can see like a little bit of a smile. I might have to cover that up. It looks way better. I mean, not way better in camera. But because the paint doesn't go that through, it looks like the same paint as this. I'm glad it goes, look, looks really good in camera, but the red over here is more of a pinkish red. See like on the window? It looks more like that. But, you know, if it's on the camera good, it's good. I actually made a mistake when I was doing it. I, I slid two down, so then the part of the metal came off. But, I don't know. It gives like a more burnt off feeling. See, all of here is burnt off and everything. Way better than my first custom McQueen. And then here's the Fabulous McQueen if he was, if he were to be crashed. I really like it. I, don't, I hate the, that he has a smiling expression. I don't know how to get rid of that. Though I think I used way too much black paint on this one. And I, made, and I overdid it. Because look, you can't even tell if it's Fabulous McQueen. It looks way worse with in person, honestly. I This is more probably one of my least favorite customs. That's a note. It's between these two, I don't know. You pick. You you choose. And, but yeah, here are all in McQueen's, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below to see what my, what my next video should be. I may do a hunting video soon, so keep posted with that. Alright, see you guys. Bye!